everyone, welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. I'm Kenethia J or Kenethia Johnson. Welcome back. Heavenly Father, thank you for your presence this morning. Thank you for all you're doing for all your children around the world in the United States. Oh, but Lord, I keep seeing Israel, Jerusalem, Egypt, and that area, Lord. I don't know what's going on, but I know what you showed me yesterday. Every beast in the field attacking that line. Every strong man, Lord, I pray you have armies of angels to go and destroy their works now. We bind it and cast it off to the pits of hell. In Jesus Christ's name, we thank you for hearing this prayer. Amen. I didn't do an intercessory intercession prayer with, with like how I normally do sometimes in spiritual tongues and we go in. God said, with so many of y'all up praying for Israel last night, <laughs> he said it was a lot of y'all up praying for Israel. He says a lot of prayers going up for that area, and he hears y'all. I was watching um, Gods of Egypt yesterday, and in the end, it was this big old beast, man, like this beast of, I said, this is a beast. This is the devil, I mean, it was just had a mouth. You couldn't see nothing but smoke in the teeth. I said, what the foolishness? And so later I saw Israel being attacked. And the Lord just put two and two together for me. There's a beast attacking that land. Nonetheless, keep prayers up for, for that whole area. Israel, Jerusalem, Egypt, that whole country just pray. But isn't he, isn't Jerusalem and Egypt like a city in Israel, right? I don't know. But just pray for even the cities in Israel. Like <laughs> just pray for everybody. Okay? And the Lord is hearing us. He hear he hears our prayers. And he be he be right there ready to answer. You just we don't know why God allows certain stuff. Why do God allow homeless people? Why why did God continue to allow death after Jesus was risen? Like you don't know, but you can't you can't um stop life for that because that's just where we are and that's just what happens down here on the earth. Like it's nothing new under the sun. That's actually one of the daily devotionals. We serve a, a unchanging God. Okay, and so this word that goes with this, the Lord is saying, I'm sorry. Just give me a second. The Apostles Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of um the Holy Catholic Church, the Christianity Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body. I'm sorry. And the life everlasting. In the almighty name of the Lord God, Jesus Christ. Amen. God is very proud of you and he loves you. This is the word I got yesterday. Well, I really didn't know he was speaking to me. I was actually cheering somebody else on, and then I fe kind of felt it in the Holy Spirit. So I said, okay, I receive a, something from that um, word, which I was super grateful for. Um, Mr. Adam and Anna came on Walking Faith yesterday, and so that was pretty good on the YouTube channel. And then this morning while I was in prayer, the Holy Spirit filled me and he said, I'm proud of you and I love you. And so 
God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. You see, God is so hands-on with us that when he do allow something to happen, I just sit back and watch because for us to serve Kalaya. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. For us to serve such a loving God and then for him to allow something drastic to happen, what happened to the children of Israel? Well, Kalaya, I got so many chills. What happened? When disobedience come, there comes a punishment. There comes something from the Lord, just not through obedience, but disobedience too. And so when you say there is no Jesus Christ, there is no, we only serve God, but you can't name him in, in his names or his, all of him. We serve an unchanging God. In times of trouble, we need to remember God's constant provision. Perhaps we might recall the words of the great hymn, Great is Thy Faithfulness. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not. Thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever wilt be. Yes, our God has left his permanent footprint on our world. He will always be there for us. Great is his faithfulness. What kind of troubles are you facing today? How does understanding God's unchanging presence help you in your struggles? A lot of time God be allowing calamity to happen like that because the people not clinging on to him in the proper way. Some of them are still saying Jesus not real. And so when you look at that, you can pray for people all you want. But the word that I got was, if you do not believe in my son, the Lord God, Jesus Christ Almighty, you can't have the heavenly father. There is no father without son and no son without father. We serve an unchanging God. And just like the children of Israel had to wander around instead of going through the straight and narrow path because of their dis, we serve an unchanging God still going through the same thing over there in Israel, but worse. And so the Lord is saying, (laughs) I just had a new word. This is the Holy Spirit. I just, I had a word of encouragement. God is, God loves you and he's proud of you. So I guess it's two parts to this word. Sorry. It's two parts to this word. So that's the first part. God loves you and He is proud of you. Okay. The second part is we do serve the unchanging God. And so we have to make sure we are mimicking the Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ. Romans 12 verse 2 says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The Lord also showed me. My ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Friends or family members may try to pressure us to conform to the pattern of this world, but we can show who we serve by aligning our lives with what we say we believe as God's children. When we obey the scriptures and reflect his loving character, our lives can demonstrate that the rewards of obedience are always greater than any loss. How will you mimic Jesus today? You can't mimic somebody you don't know. You can't mimic somebody you keep saying you don't believe in. 
You can't mimic nobody you don't respect. So first, you have to humbly go and repent and confess your sins from the time you mouthed off, mouthed off, from the time you said God isn't real, from the time you said Jesus isn't Lord God Almighty. You got to go take care of that part first. And then you should start reading the word to see who you're following. Everything is in the Holy Bible. We have Google now. We have interpreters. We have interpretations. We have commentaries. We have, heck, we have non-false prophets that are there. We That mean they there waiting. God got his people on standby. And then you got to use discernment for the false ones. Then you got, you have leaders, you got pastors, you have, it's so much resources to get to God. Now it is not the same. It's like, literally you have no excuse when you leave this earth. You have no excuse. Everything is made available. Even when the devil or the enemy tries to stop it, God is right there still pushing it right in your face. And so you have to read the Bible. You, I'm not just saying read the Bible. No, that's what I'm saying. But I'm just saying, don't do it indigenous. Like, don't just open it up. Okay, I read a scripture today and that's it. No, understand what you're reading. Make sure the Lord doesn't want you I mean, I would, I was, I was taught to start from the New Testament and then go back. But you can start from the book of Genesis. The reason why we, why I would, I would start in the New Testament is because Jesus is the reason. <laughs> you want to know who you're serving. So he's all, he was mentioned here and there in the Old Testament, but to really know what his ministry was and what he believed in. The New Testament is why a lot of leaders say start from there and then go backwards and then go work your way back. So from the end to the beginning, just like our God, pretty much. So for those who have been, the Lord is really happy and proud of us who have been seeking him, stand faithful through all the struggles, through all the persecution, through all the waiting, through all the rejection. Thank you, Lord, through everything. And so God is like, I am so proud of you. You didn't go to, <laughs> not again, Lord, I want to cry again. He said, you didn't go to black magic. You didn't go to this voodoo priest. You didn't put that witch, that, that spell back on that person. You didn't listen to revenge subliminals. You didn't listen to divination subliminals. Hey, man, we stay faithful. <laughs> like that, that got this stuff easy now. You ain't got to go see no witch doctor. You can pull something up on YouTube and send all that. I mean, they got some stuff. They got, hey. I'll be like, whoa. I'll be like, God said don't do this. So I ain't going to listen to that video. No, but you didn't. You you didn't treat people. You acted the way you responded. But God still said it was good through it all. God is like, I am proud of you. I am so, I'm getting ready to blow your mind, blow your socks off. The Lord said, I am proud of you. And he said, I love you. So congratulations. And to those who are going through a struggle or testing, you only got God. And if you have that mindset, you will cling on to him more than anybody else. You only have King Jesus Christ Almighty and our Heavenly Father. I pray you have a blessed day. Shalom.